Hi viewers. Today we have got Dr. Fushan Chan. He is a postdoctoral fellow in Italy on Marie Curie Fellowship. He has done PhD in chemistry from IIT Mandi. So Fushan requests you to share a more about your academic journey to our audience. Yeah, so yes. My name is Hushan Chan. So I have done my graduation from Gov PG College Nalagat. Then I have moved to my MSc. So my master was from Himachal Pradesh University, Shimla. And further, I have done my MPhil from there. So then I have done my PhD from Indian Institute of Technology, Mandi. So there I have worked under Professor Venkat Krishnan. So then, yeah. So now I am a, currently a postdoctoral fellow at Polytechnic of the Milano University, which is held in uh, Italy. So yeah, this is my means academic background. Yeah, thank you. Uh, from Himachal to Italy, how yeah, yeah, did you plan it or how did you plan it and what were the challenges? Yeah, plan was like that. Uh, I was always uh, misinterested or more curious to uh, explore more science. So after doing the PhD, so I thought that let's try some abroad experience, how the research is going in abroad. So let's try to get the some abroad experience so this is the reason and this is the motivation that i i am coming from long far that is from himachal to italy so that's the reason how i have did you approach it what were the challenges and how did you choose this program how competitive it was yeah the challenges are miss like uh, to definitely there are miss postdoctoral positions are less so to move from phd to postdoc postdoc there are a lot of challenges because there are a lot of candidates who are uh, looking for postdoc but vacancies are very low so we have to kind of search a lot of uh, pupils and a lot of professors to reach them to search that whether they have any vacancy or uh, means how we can we are going to be and to reach that place so challenges are one is that uh, there are uh, low vacancies and there are a lot of uh, means applicants for the positions and then yeah means uh, second thing is you have to find the the professor which is have similar match of your expertise in whatever you have done in your phd or past experience so that you have to find in a guide for which you are looking so that to find the same um, means to find the professor with the same experience that is also a challenging otherwise yeah so these are the some challenges which i have faced when i was applying for the postdoctoral fellowship also, please tell me, because uh, you have been in Himachal for a long and now in Europe, yes. uh, what are the issues in terms of cultural acceptance and other logistic challenges like visa and other? How do you suggest people to prepare for those things? Yeah, cultural changes are definitely because here, uh, especially in a European, so you have a most difficulty in language. So people don't speak that much English here. So, so that is a means for communication. Either you have to learn their regional language or uh, means, yeah, the first challenge is first is a language. And second is uh, like visa issues. So I didn't miss uh, encountered in my case, but I have seen that the Italian visa processes are very slow. So, and uh, yeah, and visa processes are very slow. And uh, other things are that we have to miss for the eating things. You have to cook your own. So this is another challenge which you face after coming that road. So uh, yeah, so you have to cook you have cooking skills and uh, it is better if you come the regional language whenever you are in a home country. So then it will be more easier for you to survive here. So yeah, these are the some challenges, so logistic challenges. What you are trying to say that uh, academically you need to match your research interests with that of the senior faculty in Europe or any other place and yes, yes. Uh, then you should be ready to cultural changes language is a big barrier yeah, and you barrier, must yeah. learn the local language to survive decently and mm -hmm. uh, food is something either you accept their food or uh, you have to cook there, yeah, definitely. So that's interesting to know. And uh, okay, a uh, lot of researchers from India are approaching for postdocs abroad, and uh, very often they feel that they do not receive response from the European or American professors. Can you yeah. suggest how to get a better response? 
Yeah, so uh, yeah, that is a very nice question. So to get the response, you people are what are means mostly doing they are randomly sending the mails to professor without without creating the what are the research which they are doing in their group. And yeah, so this is very important. So if you are writing to, to some professor, you have to read this uh, uh, what what the research is going in their research group and how much is uh, your research background is matching with the professor to whom you are writing. So this is very critical when you are writing to the professor. So you have to take care of these two things when you are writing to some professor. So if you are taking these two uh, things, so th then you have a better chances to get the response from the people to whom you are writing. Very good. And uh, can you tell us about your current research activities, what you are doing and what you plan to do? Yeah, so I am a postdoctoral fellow here. So basically, we are working on single atom catalysts. So we are uh, synthesizing single atom catalysts and uh, applying them some various applications, like most importantly, which we are doing are uh, that as uh, means some fine synthesis of some fine chemicals, and we are uh, working on biomass conversions. So the particularly work which I am doing is, is uh, because the single atom catalysts are very unstable. So I am particularly focusing on how we can stabilize the single atom on the spores and how we can uh, enhance the loading of the metal on the spores. So these are some challenges which will be I'm trying to miss, uh, address those uh, challenges when I, were, I will be working here in Italy. So yeah, this is my such background here. All the best for your good work. But if I could ask you about your future plan, where would you like to yeah. see from now or how do you see your future in Europe or back in India? So, yeah, definitely I want to come back to India and particularly I am looking, for, I am willing to explore my career in academic profession. So, so this is my first priority, but uh, I have other means. If it is, I am I won't be able to get it. So uh, definitely, I can look for some industry. But yeah, must my first priority is to get some uh, acad acad academic profession in India. So yeah, to come back to India and deliver whatever I have learned here. So I want to definitely deliver to India. Uh, this is Hussein's personal choice, but there are ample number of uh, opportunity for researchers, well-trained researchers. And you can excel in variety of fields, including editing, including being a quality control manager or studying the market response. Ample number of opportunities are there. Yeah, they are definitely yes. Too, yeah. too. So, so my last question to you this evening is, uh, what is your advice to the future aspirants of Meritory Fellowship? How should they prepare themselves? Yeah. So there are a few suggestions which I want to discuss here. So first, before applying, you should check for eligibility, whether you are eligible for the grant or not. Because sometimes people are starting preparing, but they don't uh, read the requirements, what are eligibilities. And at the, at the end, when they are uh, about to submit the proposal, they then they get to know I am not eligible. So first requirement is check the what is the criteria and what is the eligibility. And second, yeah. So second thing is that is most important to find the good host. Good host means I means that the because first difficulty is you, you cannot find the host easily. So if you find the host easily means uh, somehow, then you have to look that there is a synergy between your background and the host background. So it, you cannot blindly approach any any host so that you can write the proposal and then at the end you will be end up with the rejection because what the European commissions are looking, they are looking that there should be synergistic synergistic between your background and a post where you are going to work. So this is very important. And third, this third, which is also very important that you cannot propose anything which is in AS. So that the proposal which you are proposing, that should be realistic, it should be implementable, it should be exploitable. And yeah, this is the some major requirements requirements when we are drafting a proposal for this Mercury grant. And yeah, you have to, the methodology is very important. So how you are going to means, uh, do the experiment, are they, are the experiment which you are uh, planning to do, they are uh, the means, uh, the requirements of apparatus or instruments are, uh, are there in group. So these all things are very important when you are proposing or you are adapting a proposal for this medical grant. So yeah, these are some my uh, some Wilson, I think what you're suggesting is that one must check the eligibility should yeah, that is exciting research plan, which is feasible yeah, that could be and logical, 
and then your exposed load should be more or less identified which can be moderated of course by your guide but then you should know what how you are going to approach it and then the likely outcomes you should have Hello. some idea what you are aiming for so thank you yeah, very I much, Susan, for you this session this evening it was wonderful talking to you